Hey guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to the Twin Flame family and thanks for the new subscribers and I appreciate your support. A couple of things before I get into the energy reading for this week, which is June 11th and I'll get into the reading for the collective Twin Flames for the week. Um, but I wanted to give you an update also. I just sent out an email that has the June, July and August happenings for the Twin Flame family. Lots of stuff happening throughout the summer. Um, so if you haven't received that and you want to sign up for the newsletter updates, I don't send many, just usually once a month. You can do that on the twinflamefamily.com and just scroll to the bottom, click um, on subscribe to the newsletter and you just enter your email address and I can send you the updates. Um, very quickly, just to run through it, on June 22nd, there's a free support group call in the evening, and that is the evening before the full, the, I'm sorry, the new moon in Cancer, and that's a great time for us to gather and uh, support one another along the journey. Also, during the month of July, I'm going to be launching a soul coaching uh, series. It's just, it's just going to be free content on social media as well as YouTube. And they're going to be videos geared towards self mastery for the Ascension process. And so you can look through that for that all throughout July. Um, on July 11th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to hold another Facebook live session and that'll be a live Q and A. You can type in and I'll answer your questions right on the spot. And then in August, I'm holding my next Divine uh, Feminine Goddess Workshop. And some of you had said, oh, I can't make it this time for the one I just held. So mark your calendars. August 8th will be the next one. All right. So moving on now. Oh, and those of you who are desiring to work in private session with me, please go on and schedule a session on the website. I have some of you writing to me and you're like, Hey, can I get a session? And I'm like, my schedule's on the website, like the best, most up-to-date schedule. So if you don't mind booking through the website, that helps me. Um, and again, it's the twinflamefamily.com and just click on schedule a session. Okay. So moving on now to this week's energy reading. So I have big messages for both the divine masculine, divine feminine, and the shared energy, as well as, um, just some things to talk about with what's happening with the energies right now. So, um, so with, I'm going to start with the masculine. So for the masculine, the judgment card is coming up and judgment feels like, um, you know, attachment to old things like what the parents are going to say if he leaves his marriage to make himself happy. What is, you know, what are the children going to think if he, um, you know, leaves this relationship to make himself happy or to live in his truth? What would it be if he started a new business or a new endeavor that was more in alignment with his soul's purpose? What would everyone think if he, you know, left his security or whatnot? Um, what if he went over and fully committed with his twin flame or with his um, life partner and the old ego-based friends would be like, oh, no, you got to stay single or no, we need you to um, still come out drinking with us or do these low vibrational things with us. No, man, no, no, no. Okay, so like that's what's coming to me when I see this judgment card. It's, it's like the attachment to kind of pleasing everyone else and the masculine right now is starting to want to please himself and live in his truth more. And so it's interesting because the, this is, this is the feeling around the judgment card is very much his resistance to, um, not wanting to go all the way into it yet, right? He's not ready to totally live in authenticity just yet. And this is a weighing on him, okay? What everyone else will think. Um, you know, he doesn't want to not be cool or not be loved or not be accepted. And he thinks that um, by just going along, you know, things will just get better or things will just, you know, he'll figure it out. But it's getting to this point where he's taken a little bit of an ego dive. And in that, there's been some low stuff. And I feel like he's just working it out right now, working out some pieces of himself that he doesn't like, 
um, working out some internal battles between what could be who he wants to be, what the truth really is that's glimmering through, and what has been, what is right now, what will everyone else think, how could I possibly make this change or shift, um, and not really seeing the pathway to connect the two yet. But I feel like he's he's working it out. He's working out his own like self loathing or, you know, sort of just like that default setting to like the low vibrational stuff, whether, like I said, that's been drinking or, um, just defaulting to old ways or old habits that aren't no longer serving his higher purpose. And so in that it's very much about working this out internally. So I feel him going in internalizing, especially over the next month. I feel like for the next three or four weeks, it's going to be a lot of internalization, a lot of processing, um, and that may cause silence, that may cause separation if there already isn't one. Um, it's a time of processing. It needs to happen so that he can emerge and start to take action towards truth, which, like I've been saying, I feel like is going to happen when we're going towards eclipse season in August, so sometime between July and August. Um, a great deal of, I think, the masculine and the collective are going to take steps towards their truth. When right now, they're still sort of reconciling it all um, and needing time to process after kind of going on a dip. Um, and that dip is like, even in that... It's almost like a defensiveness, a stubbornness, uh, I'm going to go there anyhow. There's a rebellious tone to it, I feel, like a rebellious feeling to it. But I don't think it's really been very fulfilling for him. And above the masculine card is, look what came up, Twin Flames, and it's Angus. And Angus is always present to deliver a huge message, and it's, about the faith and it's about knowing inner knowing and the masculine does know he's really receiving glimmers of this because she the divine feminine is his guiding light he may not want to admit that right now or face it and so you may receive be receiving like quite the opposite message but this is the truth that is sparkling through okay it's crystallizing for him. So just trust in that. Below the masculine, the release card came up. And it's saying for the divine masculine, work with Archangel Mikael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. This again is like stepping into the truth, getting rid of the old behaviors, getting rid of the old toxic default settings that he goes to. Um, releasing the need to please others, releasing the caring about what others think, releasing all of that and living in his truth. And so we're stepping closer to, towards that. So for the feminine, the Ace of Cups is coming up in reverse. And this is very much about so many new things on the horizon for the feminine. And yet she still feels a little blocked. And that block, I feel like she's kind of standing in her own way still. And she's got some energetic blocks that are basically, they're only there as a product of her, her thoughts, like where her thoughts are going and her thoughts are originating from. And a lot of them are originating from fear. So they're fear-based thinking. And it wouldn't take much for her to release that, rid herself of those, you know, negative thoughts and start to, you know, raise the vibration and, you know, slip into better energetic alignment with what she wants to manifest because if it is coming to her, okay, this is water flowing and I feel like this is new things and abundance and, but she's going to have to purify her thoughts a little bit and realize that there are some things that she's created energetically where she's blocking herself. Um, White Tara is coming up above the feminine, which makes perfect sense. It's reminding her to purify, get rid of toxic energies that are from within, as well as attachments to toxic people, environments, experiences around her. Um, so it's saying get really pure with what you want. And also remember that 
there is abundance around you. This water, I feel like it's like emotional abundance. It's monetary flow. It's all of that. And it's on its way when we get out of our own way. Okay. Um, and underneath the feminine is the integrity card. Okay. And it's saying align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness for what's right for you. And this is very much about walking in line with our value. Who are we? What are we worth? Have we lined up with our um, values and our morals? Are we standing in our in our um, regality? And, and are we remembering who we are, who, who our true, true self is? Are we standing in our divine feminine power? And in that remembrance, are we able to create and manifest everything that we want and how we want to be treated and the types of relationships that we want? And I feel like this is all a product of walking in line, you know, making sure that we take action in line with our integrity. Um, and this very much goes hand in hand with this because this is about where our blocks are. And remember, this is like when there's blocks, we can't take action. Or if we take action, it won't go right, right? It will be blocked or stopped or rejected or we'll have to do it again. And this is saying like, get pure, okay? Get clear, line up with your integrity and your truth and things will really start to flow. And I feel like the floodgates are going to open. There's water in both of these cards, the Ace of Cups and Purification. And it's like, I feel like once she gets out of her own way and gets that fear-based thinking out of her head, and it's, it's fear. It's definitely fear for the feminine. So get the fears out and things are going to start flowing. You'll see. You'll see about that. And so um, for the shared energy, so interesting because... <laughs> The shared energy card is the five of pentacles in the five of pentacles is always that feeling like I don't want to be left out in the cold. And I feel like it's the fear for the feminine and it's the fear that the masculine has. There's still this fear of abandonment that is calling to be healed at a deeper level. Um, these are some of this is like the last streams of this. Some of this is like calling for us to go into another separation or period of silence because we have to experience it again to understand that this is not actually abandonment. This is just something that we're pulling into our experience because we have not healed that wound and um, we are actually not alone at all and we're very supported by our community and by all of the new people, new experiences coming up in, in our lives. And with, in regards to twin flames with each other, they're not alone. They're just kind of walking on their own right now. Remember I said in the last video, one, one, it's like we're, we're, we've got to be individuals right now. This is the message. It's like, we just have to be, and it's for the healing. It's for the growth. It's not because one's punishing the other, even though it might seem like that, or one's leaving or abandoning the other, although it might seem like that, um, it is this trust in that, um, physical separation, um, and knowing that it's not permanent and no one's leaving you forever and that you are never left and that the physical separation is just really an illusion. Um, so, and I know this also, and it's reaffirmed here because the lovers came up above that card. And so when you look at this, it's like, desolate abandonment and then it's union okay and that's the truth that's because this is the higher truth this is what it feels like but this is the higher truth okay and nothing can break that that is pure love and underneath this coming up underneath the situation is the three of swords and this is just our our ego reacting to some of these 3D behaviors going, I don't like this, or he's a jerk, or she's, you know, too much for me right now, or whatever that is, and feeling heartbroken. Um, really, there's some heartbreak going on here, I feel like, mutually, in many ways. And But it's that heartbreak that's giving way to new light. And this new light is actually 
creating opportunity to have trust and faith. And that faith is coming from the darkness. That trust is going to be born from the darkness. And as we know, this is what's waiting, right? So remember this. And I want to hold that right up to the camera. It's so important, the trust and faith. Another message that came through for me this week or just the past few days is to write. And it's funny because the scribe writer card came up as the bottom of the deck card in the past life um, deck, which is always like it could pertain to right now or it could pertain to things in early life. But it's always poignant, the bottom of the deck card. And it's saying scribe or writer. And I feel like writing right now, especially like writing and not sending a letter, like writing a letter to your twin flame from yourself right now with the set of emotions that you feel right now could be very cathartic for you, very therapeutic. And I'm actually considering doing that on the free support group call, having you guys write a short letter and then like having a forum where we can read the letters to one another rather than having, you know, to send it to our twin flame was not time and we don't need to do that right but we may just need to um put our emotions on paper and I'm really getting that that's going to be helpful to provide clarity and for like purging and releasing and all of that um coming up around the feminine also is the fertility card and that's very much about creative projects um it's about birthing new things and birthing a new plan or moving to a new location, creating new ventures, mission, um, just getting creative at home. Um, this is a ripe time to be in our creativity, but we can't be in fear and in creativity because when we're inspired, we're in spirit. And when we're in fear, we're Ugh, we're like muck, we're in the mud, right? So we, we have to move out of that so that we can stay in our creative energies. Um, and for the masculine, I'm feeling a period of rest because there's, um, this is coming up as bottom of the deck, but I'm really feeling it for the masculine. And I feel like um, the feminine kind of just went through this, but the masculine is going to come up on a time, like I've said, of like internal processing kind of being exhausted, kind of being burnt out, like the emotional stuff weighing him down as well as just like the like everyday life and the, the duties of life and all of that. Um, so he's going to need that time of hermiting or rest or internalizing so that he can regenerate and rejuvenate his energy. Um, Divine Feminine card or the Sacred Feminine card for this week is Miriam the Prophetess. Okay, I'm going to read you what that is. And this is from Joe Jason's Sacred Feminine Cards. These are beautiful illustrations and they have beautiful meanings. Um, so, Miriam the Prophetess. Okay, so she is symbolizing hope, joy, and leadership. So it says, for the Divine Feminine. At this time, you may be experiencing many doubts or worries. Aha, that's what we were talking about. And feeling heavy with burden. Miriam wants you to know that at any time you can access hope as opposed to doubts, right? This is what we're talking about, clearing this, these blocks. Hope is a choice and you may call on it, upon it, whenever you feel pulled down by low frequencies and fears. Hope is found in the heart. It is part of the same vibration as all of your other desires. In imagining your hopes, desires, and dreams, you can also access joy, which is your natural vibration. It says, choose today to feel hope and joy rather than doubt or fear. Miriam works with those who teach and, leads women and lead women's groups, circles, or sisterhoods. Your emergence and calling into leadership may be imminent. Miriam may also be advising you to sing and dance more and to incorporate the vibrations of joy and physical rhythm into your life. Okay, that's really beautiful. And I want to leave you with that. And um, if anyone has questions or comments, you can obviously leave the comments on the video or you can email me with questions. Or again, we can work together in private session on the twinflamefamily.com. And I will see you guys next week for the next energy update. All right, well, have a great week. Bye.